In this video I'm gonna show you how to properly set up camera movement. We're gonna be moving around between different texts and hopefully this will influence how you approach your camera movement. The objective of this video is to make your edits look smooth. So with that being said I'm gonna take you straight to After Effects. Alright so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you the comp settings. Then what we need to do is hit Ctrl T and I'm gonna type in Stop. Let's recenter and this is gonna be our first text. So what we can do is right click go to New camera and we're gonna pick a preset of 35 millimeters. I'm gonna hit OK, then I'm gonna create a new null object, parent the camera to the null and rename to cam control 1, select both and apply a different color. I'm gonna turn it into 3D and what we can do is create a movement going upwards. So for this I'm gonna hit P, create a keyframe, move it forward and we're just gonna get lower. Now I'm gonna select both, easy ease, go to the graph editor and we're just gonna squeeze the peak towards the left. So that's how it's looking. Okay, pretty much perfect. Now what we need to do is duplicate the text. I'm gonna probably get it somewhere here and to the left. Then we can play around with Y rotation, just like that. And we're also gonna rename that text. And we need to duplicate cam control one. Hit U on the keyboard, delete the last keyframe, parent one to two. And we're gonna go to the very beginning, hold shift and click R and keyframe all the values for rotation. Now we can get back just like that. And I'm gonna play around with Y rotation. Okay, we need to make some adjustments. I probably got too close. I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna apply the mid graph. In case if you didn't know how it looks, here you have it. Okay, now I'm gonna hit U for the first cam control and we're just gonna overlap the keyframes in the right timing. Okay, it's pretty fast. Something we could do is select all the keyframes and just grab that peak more towards the left. So it's kind of nicely easing out. Okay. Then I'm gonna make the movement faster. In terms of animations like that, this is always about the adjustments. You're just gonna spend a lot of time tweaking every single value and eventually you're gonna get a good look. Okay, that seems to be good. Actually, this was supposed to be making and we're just gonna drag it towards the left. The next word is gonna be this. So I'm just gonna duplicate, get it closer to the camera, rename, and just take a look at the custom view one where I'm putting this. So basically we're creating some sort of a path that is going sideways. Then we're gonna play around with Y rotation again. And maybe this time we could drag it a bit lower. Let's see how that works out. I'm gonna duplicate cam control two, hit you on the keyboard, delete the last keyframes, parent two to three. And this time we're gonna get to our last text. So basically we need to decrease the Z position, then play around with X. And here we have our text. So for this, we also need to change Y and do it like that. Okay, I'm gonna select them all and I'm gonna apply the mid graph again. Okay, starts to look pretty cool. I would probably move that text a little bit further away. So just with Z position. So it's not popping up on the screen that abruptly. And then we need the last text, which is gonna be mistake. So I'm just gonna rename it and we're just gonna drag it upwards and I'm gonna move it with Z position. Then we're gonna grab Y and we're trying to basically recenter it with that word. I kind of want to have all the words in the screen whenever we're on the last word. So let's duplicate three. I'm gonna hit you, delete the last set of keyframes, parent three to four, and let's try our best with aligning it with the text. Okay, a little bit of Y. Also, maybe let's apply something new like X. All right, I'm gonna select them all and again, apply the mid graph. So it's again kind of popping up on the screen very abruptly. So the thing I would do for this is just move it away a little bit like that and recenter. Should be a bit better. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm just thinking maybe we got too little time on that text. So for this, we can actually hit you for all the layers. And here we have the movement that is kind of too fast. So for this, we're just gonna extend these keyframes and then we're gonna drag it a little bit to the right. And that way we got a little bit more time. I'll probably go even further than that. And then here we need to actually adjust it so it's in the center. By the way, if you want these lines, you can just head over here, pick action save. Okay, but let's see how it looks with the motion blur on. All right, pretty sick already. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe it should be a bit faster here. Just changing my mind. Yeah, a bit better. All right, honestly, I really like that. We could probably just tweak some details here, like Y rotation and Z. Okay. All right, so that will be it for this episode. Hopefully you got an insight into how the camera movement works. And without further ado, I'm going to wrap it up here and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys.